Hello all and welcome back to the channel as here and today we're going to be talking about the pen boss gear from Jatina. Now I know that this has been out for quite some time now but there are still players that are struggling getting these from level 1 to pen. So I've covered the first one and the basic on my first video so this one I'm going to concentrate on level 2 to 5. And we're also going to be talking about the current marketplace situation and see the total cost of these Jatina pens if it's equivalent to the ones that are being sold in the market if you're not concerned about having your name on your gear then we would see if it's actually worth it or not so the first thing i advise for newer players if you're trying to get these ones is that get your opals in line and uncheck the auto range now the rough opal is for level one polished for level two Level 3 is Brilliant, Level 4 is Moonlight, and for the pen, it's the Concentrated Aura correlated to the ones that you're trying to get. Now, if you have these ones in your marketplace, do not transfer all of them into your inventory because I've seen quite a handful of players that have made dozens of the Level 1 Reformed Stones without knowing because like it's a continuous process if you do have all of the materials here and you have a lot of opals so be careful on that one because it would consume your concentrated crystals your magical black stones and your memory fragments so keep one of each since we already have the level one from our previous video and this one's already reformed to level one i'm gonna put that on the side and if you want to view it the links is down below so we're gonna go now to the polished one so again this is gonna be level two level three for the brilliant level four for moonlight and the concentrated for our pen so we're going to open up our process window and then we're going to load in our polished opal, our memory fragments, concentrated magical black stone, depending on what you're doing, whether it be the weapon or the armor and the concentrated crystal, depending on the gear that you're building and also the magical shard. So what we're going to do after that one is we're going to start and that would pull up this um, process over here. So it's just going to heat it up and we're going to get the resplendent number two now what we're going to do next is we're going to create the next one same process level three the brilliant the memory fragments the stone the crystal and the shard do that again and it would make um that stone for level three so we got our level three now and then you would see there that you don't really actually need to wait for your weapon to be on a certain level to create these stones so we're gonna go ahead and create the fourth one and there you have it so we now have the level two the level three and the level four now we're gonna reserve the pen later on i just wanted to show you that some players are confused that when they go to the menu um, for black spirit and they go to enhancement they see this the reason why is you're not going to enhance your weapon what you would do is you would go to item reform and then click on the weapon that you're trying to reform to the next level now the beauty of this one is that it would add up the stats right away after you do the reform so currently you would see that we have this one at level one and it's at 2931 for the ap accuracy 12 dp and the evasion is set at 18 30, 10 and 30 and all and i would do the reform so we now have that one you would see that it now increased the stats to 30 32 so that is the beauty of this one so you could gradually upgrade your weapons as you get the materials you really don't have to wait up until like it's fully bloomed to the pen to um kind of like uh, enjoy the benefits of these ones so again this one you would see the stats over here and then if we reform then you would see that the dp increased so that's kind of like the process of this one so we were now going to be doing the fourth one and you would see it's now a 3133 so this is equivalent to the pen one except for the item effects which is another cost saver for you for example just this one for the kurum or for the other materials or for the other weapons and gears that you're trying to enhance you could gradually go up to those levels up until like you know um save up for a pen and then do the pen so that's the one that we're going to be doing next but just keep that in mind if you're really just like you know trying to do it casually um i know like there's some recommendation to skip this one and just go from one to pen right away but you could do it like one by one so for the pen step you would need to go to jatina and go to the main quest 
except sky if it's for the weapon and earth is for the armor so we would go with a sky one and she would ask you to give her 30 of the okila piece of the old moon now this is the one that increases for the basic attempts it would start low and then it would gradually increase that's why like the prices for these armors and weapons increase per item that you've already completed to pen so for the first one for example over here it's just asking us for 30. we would then accept and then head on over to the old moon manager so you can search for these ones from the npc finder by typing in like old moon and it would show you all of the managers over there so the one that we're talking to is Clau from villa and we would go to the old moon shop and we would need to buy 30 of these okila piece of old moon or depending on how many you're doing for the armors it's more that's why it's more expensive so once you have enough money to buy all of those ones for this one this costed us 1 billion 500 million so we would now go back to jatina to turn those over through the chat and she would give us this crystal so once you have that in your inventory you put in the concentrated aura on the weapon or armor that you're doing the crystal, the concentrated crystals, the concentrated magical backstones, and also the memory fragments. This one is the highest one that you would need for 150 for the weapons for pen. And you would now click start. And it would now create the materials that you would need for the pen. And that is it. The resplendent Kudum sub weapon reform five or pen, depending on how you would want to read that out. So you would now go back to transfusion and you would see over here, the selection of the ones that you can upgrade or enhance and put in the resplendent Kudum sub weapon reform stone or your reform stone five. Hit reform and then let the magic happen. And now it's reform level five, but we're not done yet. So you would now need to go back to Jatina and go to the main quest, except this one where you would need to exchange now that weapon for the actual one. And she would give you a brand stone and also some crystal extraction tools. So now you could, you know, extract your crystals that you had before that was cheap and put in the expensive one. So this is a good treat for, you know, the people that done this one. We hit accept, then we go to the chat, give that weapon, and then you would now get these ones. So congratulations if you haven't um, done this one yet, or if you've done it alongside with me, then you would now have your weapon. You would see that the name of the person that created it, which is you, is on there. So that's one plus if that is one of your goal. You would see that the evasions have increased and also the extra AP. So that is basically it. Now, we would now go over the kind of like the controversial topic is the weapons and armor are still worth it on the current market situation. So before we proceed to the cost, one of the arguments that some of my friends have told me is that you cannot Kafras the pen converted gear. Now, actually, you can. So you can see over here. We have it on the Kafras window. We have the reformed one. You would see that there's no market price. I'll remove it again. And you would see over here that personal transaction is unavailable. So this is the one that we just got. So you would see here that I could put in the Kafras and put it into that weapon. So now let's move on to the cost. So I made this as simple as I could and I broke it down into different scenarios. So first one is what if you bought everything? So currently at the current market, um, these stones are still at max price. The shards, majority of them are still at max price, but majority of them are dropping down because of the seal event and also the percentage buff for the food and the um, snowflake that we got recently. And then also the more uh, memory fragments, you can't really buy these ones. Um, so like on the next scenario, I'm gonna put that on like the tax one. So I've included the tax prices because if you get something for free, or you got it from the events and exchanges, then you can't really build that one or like um, put that one on a max price because like if you sell it towards your purchase, for example, the Black Star, then it's gonna be at the tax price. So um, let's leave that at that. And the Opals are cheap. Again, just a reminder, rough, polished, brilliant, moonlight in that order is for the levels. And then a concentrated um, aura, I put it at the price of the highest equipment that I could see. 
um, in the market it, that is 1.2 billion so um, I put that over here so now let's move on to like the actual cost so you will see over here that there's weapon one two and three and the reason for that is there's the mechanic that PA imposed in these ones that the sky crystals needed for these ones which are vendor items increases as you um, create more weapons and armors so for weapon one you would just need 30 70 for the second and 120 for the third and that is kind of like the main driver of the price for these ones as you can see it went from 1.5 and up to 6 billion so going on to the calculation you would see over here that across the board there would be similar because like these ones are the constant one and again like the sky and earth crystals are the only ones that is changing so for the concentrated if you bought it all 600 million and then for the magical shards 1.2 billion and memory fragments going to be 3 billion and the last one is the concentrated area so that lands my calculation at 17 um 7.5 billion and if you compare it to the black star um market right now um it's ranging from 10 billion to 10.5 so this is at the time of the recording so it might change in the future especially like the sub weapon um, black star is announced and might come out soon so the difference over here is you would see like it's 2.9 billion so weapon one if you are not particular in any of these ones so you could either go for what you're meaning so it's either going to be your um, succession or awakening so it's going to be your main hand or your awakening weapon or if you want to go like sub weapon i we don't recommend that like early on um, to be um, concentrated on. So you could do that for cheap and you could use this as a backup or kind of like your main weapon for now as you work for your black star. So that is one option for the second weapon. It cuts close to like the black star. So I would recommend like if you're actually like um, selling these ones and this is kind of like I'm um, going to be different. So like we'll cover that into the next scenario. So this kind of cuts close to it, but of course, like you have to consider the items and the item tax for each of the ones that you will be selling. So this one still is a good option if you don't want to get into like, you know, in that motion of trying to save up for a big, big chunk of money, losing it on side activities and all. And you can just devote it into gradually upgrading your weapon on here. And this one kind of like is different in a way because it costs you more. So weapon three kind of like the one that's frowned upon by the community. They really don't want you to do this one is because like if you bought everything at this rate, then you might have just like devoted that money on buying a black star from the market. So that is one thing to consider. So the next scenario is what if some of the items that you need, you got them for free or from events and exchange. So for this one, what you would need is to calculate the taxed ones. So for example, on the concentrated blackstone, you got, you know, the enhancement kits and you got 50 of them on each stage. Let's say like, um, that's the current scenario. So you would calculate it based on the tax one, because like, if you sell it, that's the only um, amount that you would be getting. So that's the one that I use. And for the magical shards for it, let's say, for example, you attended 30 of the boss fights, then you would get 90 seals at it offers you know one to three and then memory fragments too if you're being exchanging the auras then you would be getting these ones for let's say like you no know, technically free and then the rest from the market so you would see here like you know like um it really depends on how much you get and the saving just goes up so let's say the concentrated materials that you got you got like you know 150 and you just never used any from the market that you bought so that you know kind of like just boost up your saving but you know it's not really by much so weapon one still is kind of like a winner in terms of like the value so if you really just want your first pen then i would suggest to really go for this one for the weapons and of course like um for weapon two you could see on the ones that i'm posting on the bottom screen that you know if you're really wanting to do more PVE damage, then you would really need to opt out for Black Star. So you could use this one. So let's say like um, same scenario, um, everything that you got over here can be sold 
or like um, the ones that you got over here is all um, from free events. So the money that you will be saving is about 1.5 billion in a way, but the total amount of the ones that you would be um, selling, if you're actually selling um, these ones that you've got, um, this would amount to about like 3.5 billion. So you could use that to fund your Black Star, or you could just go ahead and have your first um, pen awakening and pen main. So now let's move on to the armors. You could see over here we have the same calculations for the earth crystal. So this was going to be more expensive because of the amount that is needed. So we got 80, 120, 160, and um, 200. And you will see here that it's already touching the 10 billion mark. Um, concentrated black stones for the armors are much cheaper. They cap out at 2.2 million. So 150 of those ones is 337.5 million. So magical shards, the same. Uh, memory fragments, the same as the older one. And then the concentrated aura, I put it at the try on like the most expensive one that I could um, see for like the helmet and armors. So kind of like just to get like the max value for those ones. So you can see here that, you know, if you're targeting for the Black Star, Black Star armors are much, much more cheaper. But if you are kind of like preparing for the Fallen God armor, so we got like the Fallen God armor now, and then like the, the helmet is coming out for uh, the Eternal Winter um, area. So those are the things that you have to look out for too. Um, but for for black star then definitely it's going to be a different um calculation for this one but like keep in mind that i'm putting um enhancing that to pen is a different thing so let's just focus on this one first so you would see here that if you would to if you were to just buy all of the material from the market um the difference between like buying the gear from like the current price right now and this fluctuates between 13 billion to 14 currently on the past week that i've um, tracked it in a way and you kind of like save from you know two to three billion so that's a big difference so um armor one i would say is still worth it if you're going for the falling god then definitely aim out for the um red nose or dim tree depending on um, what you have currently um for like you know the pride duo and um try for the concentrated auras and then follow it by like the helmet if you're targeting for the helmet for the griffin and or um i'm not sure if giat can be converted into uh, the falling god but most likely yes it can be um hopefully uh i'm not 100 percent sure on that one so don't <laughs> don't quote me on that one but you would see here that yeah like there's definitely savings on this one if you go this route and the armor three and armor four is kind of questionable if you do not really want your um name on the armor and just like wants the stats then definitely like you know avoid these ones like you would save a lot more so now let's go to the scenario that we just did for the weapons is what if these ones you were you get to get for free how much would be like the actual um saving for you be so you would see like you know these prizes are dropping let's say like for the sake of this one you attended um let's say 60 or 70 of the magical um, um events for like the bosses and also like the ones that you get from uh for free on some of some occasion and then like if you grind in for some of them memory fragments you got it all from like you know the basic ones from the events from the exchange from the dailies and all so you would see like you know like the price yeah like you would save quite much but armor is still in the negative i know like this is 64 so i would say that if you really want your name to be on your weapons uh, i mean your armors then definitely go for one two three and avoid four so these are just like some of the calculations that i've um, come up with and this really varies and if you really want to target on getting all of your items to pen, then this is definitely one way. As I mentioned before, you could do this gradually and not in one sweep. So guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you have found this helpful. And as I mentioned, this is not absolute. It's bound to change depending on the events, the decision of PA on some of the rework um, nerfs and buffs and so on and so forth. And we've been getting a lot of materials too, so that's a plus. 
So that is it guys for this video. Hopefully I helped some of you out in making your final decision on the Jatina quest. I know there's a lot of, you know, ongoing back and forth. It's not worth it, worth it. It's not worth it, worth it. So um, helpfully the calculation help you decide on those ones. And of course, um, there's a lot of factor involved in this game. So definitely the decision is up to you. And with that said, thank you so much guys for watching. If you haven't yet, do hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you guys on the next video.